Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're at the Brentford Community Stadium for Germany against Denmark in the 2022 Euro group stage. So what are your thoughts on today's game there? Yeah, really looking forward, been looking forward to this for a long time when you bought the tickets for me. So uh, yeah, thank you for that. Um, yeah, it, it's, I mean, it, it'll be in stature one of the, uh, the biggest international games I've been to. Um, it's a competitive game. Um, it's it's going to be, be fantastic. The atmosphere is wonderful. It's so different, so happy. People smiling everywhere you go. People here having fun. Lovely summer's day for football. One of the hottest days of the year so far. And what a night for football. For international football, no less. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this game. It's going to be a good game. Two uh, countries are tipped too well in this competition. Um, and yeah, a very good atmosphere going towards the... Uh, the stadium really um, yeah it's very happy so what is your prediction then well um germany won this competition quite a few times haven't they so that'd be good but uh, um not for um eight years or maybe it's nine years isn't it yeah, uh, so um i don't know that they look better uh, i'm told they're very experienced we sometimes be old and slow but probably the experience will come into it so let's say germany will win 2-0 i think it's gonna be 2-1 to germany i mean you know i think they'll be slightly better than denmark i'll see you inside the ground Yeah, I've never been to this one before. I went to the old one quite a few times. Um, and it's an improvement of that. But it is quite strange, this thing about multi-coloured um, seats, which I remember from, from lockdown, when they, they showed games with nobody here. But I'd forgotten about from last season. But, I mean, it's, it's that sort of strange, sort of like it's been made on Minecraft or something, the way it looks like that. But it's, but it's lovely. The pitch looks in awesome condition. Um, and already it's starting to build up. Yeah, like really good ground. Like, bigger than I thought it would be. But, um, yeah, I mean... It's a very modern ground, only built in 2020, and obviously compared to all the other grounds, we start at Wembley compared to everyone else. So this is set by 7th out of 92, round 115 in total, and yeah, it's really good, and I'm looking forward to this game.
Yeah, Germany are a little bit better than Denmark, um, and Denmark had only really one attack, uh, well one semi-attack right at the start, and then produced a really good save from the German goalkeeper, and then the Germans, and they hit the, the frame about three times in the first ten minutes yeah. before their goal, they deserve to be ahead Germany. Um, it's uh, one of those it's annoying occasions where, I think because people here don't normally go to football, our enjoyment is being a, a little bit spoiled by so many people just sort of walking around, walking in front of us and uh, blocking our view of it, um, it's a bit frustrating. Um, don't get that at the games I normally go to. But anyway, the game is good, um, and I can't really see a way back for Denmark though. Yeah, I think Germany have been by far the better team, and then they obviously uh, had the goal, which was a very bad mistake by the uh, Denmark defender. But uh, they have had really good chances. They could be about two or three nil up, three being four up by now. Um, so yeah, they deserve to be leading at half time. Yeah, shame about all these people who decide to walk about. Um, during the game, which is really annoying. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it's, got, it's nice to be at a game, a uh, competitive game at a major tournament, so I uh, can't really complain too much, and it's £10, so you can't complain. So, yeah, let's hope uh, the second half continues to be good. See you in the second half. Stadium, it finished Germany 4, Denmark 0. So, what are your thoughts on the game? Yeah, um, well, the whole experience um, was uh, uh, memorable, but it was really good. Um, yeah, Germany, very, very good value for the win. And I think when we go and see their next, it's not their next game, it's their last game against Finland, um, they will score even more. And they look lethal today, a bit of a footballing lesson. Denmark um, couldn't match them at all. Um, and then uh, we had a Mexican wave in this. I've been to a game where there's been a Mexican wave for years. Which uh, I thought was a, it was a little bit of an insult. I thought Germany were actually doing all right, and uh, it was very entertaining. I don't know why people felt the need to do that, but uh, yeah. But anyway, yeah, yeah. What an atmosphere! International football, everybody happy. 
Loved it. Yeah, I really enjoyed that, you know. First um, you know, time I've been to a major tournament, a uh, major international tournament. Um, so good to, you know, watch a game like that. And yeah, it was, it was brilliant. Um, Germany were just uh, far too strong for Denmark. So yeah, decent night out. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.